South Summit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A trip inside a county building armed with a camera. Why are you leaving? Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not assault me. Do not touch me. Do not assault me. Ends with a county official under investigation. You had the right to remain silent. It went from zero to 100 really fast. An investigation that took 15 months. Do you think things went the way they went because this was the county spokesman? Yeah, I do believe that. The investigation seemed to have vanished until we showed up asking questions. Hey, Doug. Hi, what are you doing? We talked to Danny already. Talk to Danny who? Uh, the building manager, the guy that runs the place. South Summit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't come near me, buddy. And just that fast, what started as a video tour inside the county courthouse ended with this welcome to Sumter County from the county's communications coordinator, Joe Perry. All right, you want to see I'm the communications coordinator. You can't come in a public Don't come near me. Don't touch me. Joshua Roberts is a First Amendment auditor. He, like thousands of others across the country, uses a camera to test whether government officials understand the public's right to record in public places. A, a lot of people may look at this and say, man, these guys are a bunch of troublemakers, a bunch of instigators. Why do you do what you do? I believe, you know, the true test of liberty is the right to test it. So I go out and I express my rights. I just go out, film in public, and like I said, it's just a, a test of liberty to see if they respect my rights. Before the men went into the Sumter County Courthouse in February 2021. You can Historical go anywhere building. into public access to that building on the first, second floor. Third floor is off, due, off right now because it's being some renovation up there. Okay. But yeah, if you want to walk around the hallways, you're more than welcome to in there. It's a public building. Okay. All right, thank you, sir. They recorded the county's building manager, Dennis Powell, confirming the courthouse is open to the public and to cameras. Video Joe Perry would not look at. Now we're getting law enforcement here, period. Okay. We have permission Wearing to jeans. be in here, sir. You are trespassing. We have permission. How are we trespassing? I don't believe you because you uh, lied consistently. He's seen the video. The ladies have seen the video. They talked to you Dennis. You lied consistently and you're going to deal with law enforcement. For what? I just showed you him. You heard me. me. Oh, now you're not What's your name, about sir? It, huh? You attacked me What's three your name, times. Sir? That's ridiculous and you know it. You attacked. It's on camera, yeah. sir. Perry identified himself as the county's media liaison, explaining he's the person people are supposed to call before coming into a Sumter County building with a camera. I wasn't the one causing a disturbance. I was peacefully walking around the hallways, quiet, taking pictures of what's hanging up. And then it just, like I said, went from zero to 100. I had someone grabbing and touching me and kept on telling him back up. And he kept progressively walking in front of me and he would stop. So we would collide. And when that happened is when he reached his hand out and tried to sm either smack my body camera off my chest or he tried to take it off. I'm not too sure if it was a smack or he was ripping it off. It happened so quick. And after a few minutes of yelling at one another, the men went outside where Perry made his first of five 911 calls. Something on one way, Hello? Joe Perry, there's two people in the courthouse. The cameras don't know who they are. They're yelling, please turn off. Someone came and signed this hack and they're yelling at me. They have cameras. Then law enforcement over here. Robert says they left to walk to the police department to file an assault report against Joe Perry. He made contact with you a few times you see in the video. I would say about three times in total. The contact wasn't super aggressive. The second time he came at me, I would say was the most aggressive time. It's when he actually came and grabbed, tried to grab my body camera on my chest. Did you think that he was doing that to intimidate you to commit an assault? I completely believe he was. He's still being even after the auditors left, their video shows Perry kept following. He's going to jaywalk. Despite dispatchers and police asking him to stop. Sir. Okay. Threatening people. Sir. Mr. Perry. Law enforcement. Mr. Perry, you need to walk back on over to the courthouse, sir. They're trying to flee the scene. I don't want them to leave. They are fleeing the scene. Call the medical 911 again. How many times have you called on 911? Now he don't walk to, he's to the gate stage. He's following these subjects. He advised that individual is not following the others into the 1025 means the gate station. Trying to advise him, he's just so irate, don't want to listen. Trying to tell him, stop following. Perry followed the men a half mile away to the gas station, where Sumter police eventually showed up. 
and so did Sumter Police Chief Russell Rorick, who drove Joe Perry away, even as his officers were investigating Robert's assault allegations. When the cops did show up on scene, I wanted them to question Joe and ask him why he followed us and this and that. You know, I felt like if I did that to someone in the public, I wouldn't be allowed to leave the scene like that. Two days later, Roberts filed a criminal complaint with the Sumter County Sheriff's Office. Investigators interviewed both men, collected their videos, and in March 2021, sent the case to Third Circuit solicitor Ernest Finney for his decision on whether to charge Joe Perry. We wrote and called Finney's office several times asking for an update on the investigation. Finney did not respond, not until we emailed him on May 3rd, 14 months after he got the case, suggesting the public could view this delay as the county protecting one of its own. A few hours later, the solicitor sent us this letter, closing the investigation, finding no substantial evidence to prove Joe Perry assaulted anyone. Had we never asked a solicitor about this case, where do you think it would be today? I think it would still be ongoing. It would be underneath the, it would be the very last piece of paper in their deck. The solicitor says it took this long because of other higher priority cases. Delaying it 15 months calls into question the legitimacy of the decision. The fact that it took 15 months to make that decision leads to a suspicion that maybe everyone was hoping it would just go away. They hadn't counted on you asking questions. Attorney Jay Bender is recognized as South Carolina's expert on First Amendment law and the public's right to access its government. The public has every right in the world to be in a public building and members of the public have every right to be taking photographs in the public parts of those buildings. So because of the allegation, this doesn't mean that you're going to be under arrest but I'm going to read you your rights, okay? A Sumter County Sheriff's investigator interviewed Joe Perry the week after Roberts filed the complaint. Perry explained in the interview why he reacted. I'm extremely mindful of what happened on January 6th, our nation's capital. Mm -hmm. People tried to overthrow the government, stop the election tally and all that, as you're well aware, of, and it was a violent insurrection. Mm -hmm. These two individuals looked exactly like people who invaded the Capitol. Okay. So was that your mindset? Uh, these two guys were a part of, uh, or maybe thinking the same thing, some kind of insurrection or? Abs I was absolutely concerned. I knew right away they weren't professional members of the media. This guy's got a bulletproof vest on. Okay. He's dressed all in black. Mm -hmm. That, you know, made the back of my neck, the hair stand up. Right. You're not, law enforcement officers wear bulletproof vests, of mm -hmm. course, because that's their line of work. I don't know why a civilian is walking around the courthouse filming the place. In my mind, quite simply, these are dangerous people in a government building mm -hmm. with unknown motives. But Robert's video shows Joe Perry didn't appear to be afraid. Who are you? Who are you, you have a, a vest with um, it says app zero apps given. Can you stop? And you're me? accusing me? Can you stop? I think following you're, me? you're on public property. You're full law enforcement here right now. I know you said that you were trying to keep them from fleeing the scene. Was there at one point where you were actually holding them or trying to keep them in place physically or barriers or anything? There's one point where you're kind of standing in front of him and he's trying to get around you. Um, I mean, were you try? I mean, you said you were letting them. Try not to let them leave, flee, mm -hmm. um, but were there any intentions of like, you know, physically stopping them from leaving? You know, I wouldn't. I wanted the law enforcement to talk to them, but would I grab them or any? No. Did you? I mean, you didn't grab them or? No, sir. Put hands on them or anything mm -hmm. in, that, in that fashion? Okay. The investigator also questioned Perry about why the video shows him putting his hands on Roberts. Robert says this video clearly shows Perry grabbed his arm as he was trying to get out of the courthouse. According to the video, it looks like there is some contact is made. Um, it looks like you maybe put your hands up or at any time you try to swipe, you know, swing at them, knock a phone out of their hand or anything like that to stop them, push them or anything like that. I, I, I did not make any effort to uh, assault them in any way, shape or form. If I was gesticulating with my hands, that's one thing. I know I did 
At one point, I put my hand in front of the camera and said, could you please stop filming while we talk or something mm -hmm. to that. Okay. Did they put their hands on you at any point? I don't think so. Okay. I'm not certain. Okay. And did they make any threats to you? I mean, I would say the tone of their voice was threatening. Okay. But did he make any outright threat? Okay. No, sir. Okay. We tried for weeks to schedule an interview with Joe Perry, but Perry never responded. We also decided to test our luck, bringing a camera into the Sumter County Courthouse. No one, not even Joe Perry, confronted us, and the doors the public isn't allowed into were secured with an access code. Perry, I'm trying to get a hold of him. Talk about the situation with Joshua Roberts. Is there anything you want to say regarding that case? Is there anything you would have done differently that day when you encountered these men? That's right. Nothing. Perry told the investigator last year he wouldn't do it this way again. In, in hindsight, would I have done things differently? Sure. In the heat of the moment, I was greatly concerned that these were anti-government, anarchists, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. and they're walking around. This guy's, by the way, also, he's got a backpack on. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's in the backpack. Perry was never charged. His boss, Sumter County Administrator Gary Mixon, also never responded to an interview request. Uh, just putting on my 360 camera. Josh Roberts is back at it. Hey, um, I just want to get a few shots. Sir, I will call the police for trespassing. Please step for back. For trespassing? Yes, please step can back. You, can you get your hands off of me? Encountering people, he says, need a real-time lesson in the public's right to record in public places. Oh, I'm allowed to come in? So it's okay I enter the premises? Okay, yeah, just the lobby. Yep, that's all I wanted to do, man. Well, that changed. Went from calling law enforcement to... Law enforcement still might be showing up. We're going to hang out just to make sure. They were nice. They complete change of attitude. 100%. So is this the education part of what you guys? Are Absolutely. Out? Absolutely. We filed an open records request to see Joe Perry's personnel file. There's nothing in the file documenting this encounter. I asked solicitor Chip Finney, whose office is in the same building as Joe Perry, whether it's a conflict for the county to investigate one of its own and whether Finney or some other prosecutor should have made the charging decision. The solicitor did not respond to those questions.